Okay, hey guys, this is Mark Hart. Um, I just released a Mac script for Resident Evil Remake, uh, dealing with the GameCube, but also work on the Wii. Okay, uh, right now I'm just testing on the Dolphin emulator, and I just released it. I just said I just released it, but yeah, I just released it, and uh, a lot of people are like, "Well, how do I use the dumb thing?" Um, I thought it was pretty simple. There's only an export, an export button, and an unpack and repack button. It's only four buttons. It doesn't take that long to figure out what the two buttons do, four buttons do. But I'm just gonna recap what what we're doing here. Uh, we're taking the game, it's, you're typically, you're going to work with an ISO, you can't modify the disk, you have to copy the disk, you have to make an image of the disk, copy to an ISO format, and then from that you can modify the ISO and then send it back to your machine, or in this case I'm going to be using the emulator, so I'm going to be running it off the PC. Okay, uh, I'm not going to get into how do you run the software, blah blah blah, how do you get the blah 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 blah, blah. okay. You're responsible to take your ISO. Get your, your yeah. You're responsible to get your ISO, and you're responsible to figure out how to run it. But anyway, we're taking the ISO. We have to unpack it to get the files out, and then if we modify the files, we have to know how to get it back together. So you have to repack it. All right. So to unpack and repack, we're going to be using command command line tools. Okay. If you do not know how to use command line, don't come crying to me saying I'm afraid to use command line. I don't want to use it. Figure out a better way. Well, that's not my problem. Um, you're afraid to use command line, then you better I don't know, pull up your shirt or whatever, because you know command line is a very basic thing to do, and it's not very hard to do. So I'm going to show you guys a command line tool that I've been using to extract and repack my files. Uh, I'm using this this program called GCREXE, whatever the heck it is, and it'll allow you to unpack and repack your ISO. Um, there's other other programs out there that I found that allow you to do that. Okay. They're, they're Windows based, but uh, anyone that I use to remake a new ISO, the ISO doesn't boot into the emulator, so they're garbage. Okay, the only one I found that was successful making an image was this one here, G C R E X E E X or whatever the heck it is. So we're gonna pull up um, Command Prompt. Uh, old Windows has it, so you're gonna go to uh, old programs. You're gonna go to uh, accessories. And you're gonna find uh, this little black window called Command Prompt. Uh, if you're using Windows Vista and up, okay, I'm using Windows 7. You're gonna have the UAC on. You're gonna have to right-click, okay, and choose the Run as Administrator option. Okay, it's gonna give your application rights to uh, write to the hard disk and stuff like that. So what we have to do for Command Line is we have to enter the directory. Uh, all folders will have an address bar on top of it. Okay, uh, the full path of this thing is the F drive, games, blah 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 blah. First, what I have to do in my command line is if I'm not already in the C drive or if I'm in a different drive uh, and I'm not already there, I mean, I have to enter that drive. So I'm in the F drive. So I have to type in F, all right, and then whatever that is, and then press enter. Now I'm in the F drive. Uh, next thing is I have to navigate to the folder. So uh, what I do is I usually just copy the whole address here. I type in CD space quote, okay, and I right click and paste, and I close the quote. Okay, then I press enter. Okay, so now when I press enter, I'm now accessing that directory path. Okay, so now I can call it the program. So I can type in GC uh, R E E X, and when I press enter, it'll access the program. And you can see this was created by Credar. Okay, built on whatever year, uh, blah 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 blah, and it gives you some uh, usage information on how to use the program here. Okay, very simple program. You can uh, you, you start the program. You either ha you either have two switches, uh, X for extract and C for create, and then you either specify the, uh, the the path or location of the ISO or path or location of the folder that you want to recreate into an ISO. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to show you an example of how I would extract my ISO. So you can see here in my directory, I have a image called image.iso. So if I want to unpack that, extract all the files, I would do um, Let's see, G C R E X E X blah blah blah. blah. Okay, space dash uh, X for extract. Uh, I don't know if that matters, but X and then space, and then you would you would have to type in the ISO. So you would type in image dot ISO, and you just tap enter, and it would just it would it would uh, extract everything. I'm not going to extract it because I've already extracted my junk, so it's not really what I want to do right now. So, all right, so that's how you would extract your files, and you would get these two folders here. You would get root and system. Okay, you need these folders, so don't delete any of them. All right. Next, okay, so say you unpack your files. Now you're perfectly able to recreate 
your ISO uh, once you've modified your files. Okay, to do that, you the same thing. You would um, G, C, GC whatever space uh, dash C for creation space, and then you would type in the folder names. So the the root folders are here. So I would copy these. Okay, again, type in quote, paste, quote, and I press enter, and now it's going to seek through the directory and it's going to pack it all into a file. Okay. So it's just completed, and I've now got a 1.2 gigabyte ISO file. It's called output. It's uh, by default. It'll be called out.iso okay, in the same directory. So that's how you recreate and blah 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 blah. All right. So I have Dolphin targeted at this location right now. So it's it's found the original ISO, which is 1.4 gigabytes, and the modified ISO, which is 1.1 gigabytes. Okay. The reason why they're different sizes is because uh, when you rip a game disk, there's going to be padding and stuff like that on the disk. And then when you bring that image onto your computer and you extract the files based on the file system, some of that padding information is going to be left behind. It's not going to be read in. So now when you repack those raw files, it'll repack at a smaller size. Okay, very simple. All right. So now we know how to unpack and repack. Okay. I am going to. I'm going to now replace the model files. Uh, a model a model file. So under roots, uh, we're going to go to enemy, enemy folder and I'm going to re replace Jill with another character. Okay. Uh, I did put a list on the RU forms. Um, I'm not sure what all the files mean, but right now I know that PL00 is Chris by default, his default costume, and PL01 is Jill's default costume. So right now I'm just going to modify Jill's costume. Okay. Uh, I got the original here. I'm just going to paste that here. Uh, oops. Okay, so I've done so many tests now, so I'm just going to create a new folder, or, you know, I'm just going to use my existing folder. Uh, copy, test, there you go, okay. Okay, so I was doing this video before, and then people keep popping up on MSN, so it's kind of, I should just close that down. <laughs> uh, but for now, I'm not, I'm just going to leave it open and just let everyone be like, where the frig did you go? <laughs> okay, so... Ah, crap. Yeah, I got to make a new folder here. Uh, shitty. Test for. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Alright, so. Yeah. These files here TXPL, whatever, blah, 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 blah. These are additional programs. Um, I don't know if you guys know too much about the background story, but um, this guy here. This guy here, he challenged me to get new geometry into the game. Um, well, he didn't really challenge me because he doesn't really speak English too good. But it's just like, model is impossible. Model is impossible. So I'm like, yeah, it's possible. So I, he just challenged me to get new models in the game. So all I was really focused on was getting models in the game. Um, as far as texture texture stuff goes, like putting new textures in, I didn't really go too much into it. Um, that's a new can of worms, and I didn't really want to get involved with it. Uh, especially since there's a programs already out there that you could just use to get you give yourself a shortcut. The problem is one of the tools that I'm using is a system development kit tool. Okay, um, there's that's it's highly illegal to use it if you're unlicensed. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm unlicensed or licensed because <laughs> I get in trouble, but uh, I can't give this to anybody. Right, so you're gonna have to Google it and find it yourself. The other one here, TP. LX. This was created um, by another person called Dev Ghostline. If you don't know who this guy is, he originally did the hacking on uh, Resident Evil Remake, Resident Evil 4, and a lot of the junk okay, for the GameCube. So without that guy, none of this would have existed. He's the center of all the inspiration that started all this stuff. Okay, So he made this tool, and I believe it's not in any way related to the SDK. It's entirely his own work so it's a really awesome tool so you can use this I can redistribute this no problem okay but as for texture converter you have gonna have to find that one okay so TPLX is going to extract our textures and texture convert is going to create new textures for us all right so uh, right now I got uh, the DAT file the DAT file is basically a package and it has the models and the textures and the animations and stuff like that um, I cannot import the entire DAT file and reauthor a new one. There's just too much stuff there. So what I do is I unpack it to like its fundamental pieces and then I can import and export a certain piece 
and then repack it back into a package and then send it out. All right. So what we're first going to do is we're going to unpack and then we're going to change the model and we're going to change the textures, repack it, resend it back to the game. All right. So let's get started. Um, okay, this is my first test. Uh, I think I think I'm going to go with just keeping Claire here. So we're going to hide the rest of this junk. Okay. This here is the max script. Okay. Um, I jeez. Okay. Uh, you can download this on pastebin, so you just save it as a text file. But um, make sure the extension is MS, and you can just go to here, Max Script, go to Run, and then you just open it up, and it'll pop up. Okay, and then it runs. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is unpack. Okay, you can import the entire pack, or not the pack, but this you can import this entire file. So, for instance, uh, let me demonstrate. Skip, skip, import. All right, so I can import the entire um, entire mesh file here. Nick, no, Claire's still there. Hey, Claire, what's up, Claire? Okay, so yeah, it imports the entire DAT file, but um, like I said, we can't export the entire DAT file, so we have to unpack it. Okay, so we're just going to ignore this. I'm just going to delete this. Okay, so we have to go to unpack first. Hit the DAT. Okay, open it. It's going to tell you when it completes. All right. And then it's going to create another folder. Okay, this folder here has all the files that were inside that package. All right. Um, the only files I understand are the bin files. Uh, the bins are the model files. The TPLs are the texture files. Okay. Um, if you want to unpack a texture file, just do um, t uh, t uh, whatever. Yeah, textures. <laughs> uh, textures, and you're just going to copy that this TPL in it. Oh, nice, come on. Copy. Alright. Um, <clears throat> first off, let me just explain what's going on in this package here. Um, you notice there's multiple models here. Um, this is like main body, this was like hats or something, hands. The model is diced up in little pieces, basically. Um, actually, I think this one's the body, this one's the head, or something like that. Um, and then these models reference to a textured library. So the texture libraries are another package that holds all the textures inside but there's no file names so when the model is looking for a texture it just says hi I'm looking for number one. Oh wait no I'm looking for number three and you're looking for number four so now when it opens up this texture file and unpacks it the order that the textures are in is how they are related to the model file alright and then it gets even more complicated multiple model files are referencing to the same texture package okay uh, so yeah this is gets kinda sticky okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place um, Jill's main character model alright so I believe that is the first model here and this model relates to the first texture package okay again I'm not entirely sure how this works somehow these models reference the tex texture packages but I haven't figured out how it does it yet I have a hunch on how it works but I haven't solidated the theories yet. Uh, some other guy, I think his name's Smoosh or something, on the RE forums, he he dethroned the th original theory about the texture packager, uh, texture palette uh, library indexing. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, I'm ranting. Uh, we're gonna import this uh, bin file and we're gonna replace it. So uh, imports, uh, uh, yeah, bin file. Okay, imports. No, it's, it's just importing this one bin file. All right. So we got uh, Jill here. Okay, everything is intact. So you know, you try to move something. Uh, let's put this on bones. It's on helpers. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it's it, you know she's she's yeah she's animatable and all that junk. Okay. So what I usually do is um, I I take a shortcut here. I just I just copy the modifier or cut it off from the original model. I, I put and I just click on my new model and I paste it on top. Okay, so now if I try to animate the, um, the skeleton in any way, uh, let's back on helpers. All right, it's gonna. Well, you get the idea. It it, it basically assumes the uh, the the weights from the original model. Okay, and then if I had anything that looked kind of funny, like the head, I would just manually put the uh, set the weights back. Okay, so we'll just for the head, I'll just you know, I'll fix it up. Alright, so it's pretty much that simple. Alright, and then um, 
you can exit animation mode and it'll, it'll restore it back to a T-Pose. So we can just delete Jill because we don't need her anymore. And this is our new model. Okay. Um, you notice with um, this thing, you, you, you can expand it by clicking on Advanced. Uh, this gives you options for the TPL stuff, the uh, texture library. Like I said, um, I was just challenged to replace the models. So the whole tool set that I was working on was just designed around the models. So when you expand it, you're now expanding it into the texture stuff. It's not really supported by what I was doing. But you can still use the existing tools that were in the scene previous with what I have here to make it work. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear the old previous library. And when I export, it's going to create a new library for me. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit export. And I'm just going to replace uh, the the original model that I imported, which was that one. Okay. Also, if you want to back it up, you just drag it and create a copy. Okay. Right now, the script or the tool that I made, it doesn't create backups for you. So you have to be in charge of your own backup management. All right. So now I'm just going to replace the original. Uh, do you want to replace? Uh, yeah, whatever. And uh, nothing selection. Oh, yeah, you have to select the model before you do that. So now export. And yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, no function for defined. Uh, let's see. Okay. Sometimes the weights might get messed up. So what we have to do is uh, select all of them. Okay, go to the bottom under advanced perimeter. Make sure 20 is set for 3. And you hit remove 0. Okay, after that, press the H key. Okay, just select all the helpers and just try moving them. All right. If there's geometry that's stuck here, you need to fix the weight so it's weighted to a bone. All right, but obviously there's nothing wrong there. So jump back here, and we'll try to re-export. All right, I'll close that down. All right, blah 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 blah. Clear yeah, export. Try that crap again. All right, right complete. Yay. Okay. Um, so now we have a new mesh file, whatever the heck, right? So um, we have to create a new TPL file. If you go to MaxScript and open up the Max Listener, this thing actually outputted a SDK compatible uh, uh, script for the texture converter. So you need this. Uh, again, I didn't put it in here because it's using a license tool from the from Nintendo. So I don't really want to use it if I had to, but you have to access the MaxScript Listener, and you'll find the script here. So how this is going to work, if you go to the texture folder here, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you how this worked. Uh, oops. Actually, I'm just going to, all right, yeah. Okay, so I, I guess I got ahead of myself, but the TPL is the texture, obviously. Okay, so uh, if you want to unpack a TPL, you're going to use TPLX, or whatever the heck it is. Dump it. I can drop and it'll dump out all the textures that were inside that uh, TPL uh, TPL file. Okay, so those are all the textures, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. So now, if you want to recreate one, you have to use the SDK tool to basically remake a new one. Um, again, this is command line, so you would have to go uh, into your directory. Oops. CD space quote paste close the quote, press enter. And now you're into the directory, texture, vert, and you would type in a script file. So uh, this is the script file that you need to create. All right, so uh, we're going to create a new text file here. And I'm just going to shorten the name, TPL. OK, and then I'm just going to open it, and I'm going to paste that script in there. All right, and I can just close it, and I'm going to save. So now this script is in there. And um, oops. We need the new texture files because um, it's looking for this texture, blah blah and blah blah. All right. So if I try to run it, so I'm going to type in tpl.txt, and then the output name would be, for example, uh, new tpl. I press enter. It's going to give you this error, um, unable to open because the file is not in this directory. Uh, if I go to Claire, okay, this is the the model that I imported into Max. Uh, here's her texture files here. Okay, it, it, if I copy these into this folder here, and I try to run it again, it'll give me a new error. Um, 
is unregistered type or something like that. Uh, it doesn't support DDS. It doesn't support PNG. I think it only supports TGA. So what you have to do is you have to convert it into TGA. So you can open up uh, something like Photoshop or I don't know if GIMP works with it, but you can open your whatever texture files. You're going to resave them as TGA. That's very important. So I'm just using an old version of PaintShop Pro from Jassic, uh, formerly known as Corel. All right. It's just an old program I laid around. Alright, so to close that shit down. Uh, so now I have TP or TGA files. Okay. Of course, I'm going to have to change the script there so it's TGA, not DDS. TGA. Alright, so we're good now. Alright, so we need to try to compile that. Right, press enter. Now there's no errors. And now we have a new file here called new somewhere. I don't know where the heck it went. Alright, so there's the new whatever. So I can paste that into my main folder. All right, I'm just gonna again. I'm gonna replace replace that with this new one here. Okay, so then I replace the bin and I replace the TPL, which are the textures. All right. Uh, the other thing is I'm gonna replace the head because <coughs> I already have a head in the main mesh. Um, for this, I'm gonna use the legacy option. So I'm gonna import. Uh, the head first, okay. And instead of replacing it, I'm going to turn on vertex injection. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink the head down so it's invisible. All right, and I'm going to export that sucker back out. Uh, inject, replace 19. Uh, replace it, yes. Okay. Um, there's the head, there's also the face, so I can import the face too, which would be the third file, or whatever. Same dealio, we'll just shrink this sucker down. Oh yeah, by the way, this this thing does worth, work with facial morphs and stuff, so she does that and some other stuff, right? Anyway, uh, I gotta shrink this sucker down, whoa, got trippy. Really trippy. All right, I'm just gonna export this back. Inject. Shoot this file here. All right. All right. So I don't know if I talked about this because I I forgot already. But yeah, this thing supports injection. You guys were doing vertex injection. This will do that backwards compatibility thing if you toggle on vertex injection. All right. Anyway. Um. So yeah, uh, we're pretty much good. So. This thing repacks based on the uh, XML file. So when the file is unpacked, it'll make a list of file names. And so when you're ready to repack it, you open up the XML, and it's going to search for these files in the directory. Okay, I just did it this way because uh, I'm a kind of a sloppy person. You see, I'm creating all these copies and stuff. So I wanted to avoid that problem where I might be packing in the wrong files, like copied files or backed up files or folders I don't want into the uh, actual model. The, the package for the game. So uh, I thought this was a better route to take, route to take, rather than to pack everything that was in the folder, uh, that I would just take a script file and pack what the script was indicating to pack up. So if you want to add or, or remove anything, you can just delete a line or add a new line with a new file name or something like that. All right. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, this tool here, click on pack, okay, you're going to open up an XML file. So I'm going to select, select that one. Okay, it says file created and for right now, it's just called new. <laughs> I didn't give it any fancy fancy naming, so you're gonna take this and you get to rename it. Um, so in this case, uh, we're calling it PL1, I think. Yeah. So I'm just gonna copy this here. This is the original. Place this with the copied one. So uh, and I can go back here to the main folder, which is EM. And I can paste it. So I'm just going to replace. Yeah, replace it. All right. So now I've replaced the PL file. I can now repack my ISO. So I'm just going to jump back here and I'm going to repack it. Okay. So I, I think I can bring up the command. Uh, create file. Yada, yada, yada. 
That didn't work. All right. <laughs> ah, damn. All right. All created. Alright, so I just put it in this folder here because I have my dolphin directed at this folder, so it's just going to pick it up, right? Okay, uh, oh, crap. Uh, this thing crashed because, um, crappy. I forgot. Uh, let's go back here for a second. Okay. Okay, I have to explain this thing first. Um, back, 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 back. Testing. Okay, um, before when I was blabbing about the models sharing the same texture file, Okay, so you have all these files here, right? Like model files, and they're saying, okay, in this package, I want to use texture one. So what what happened is the game crashed because um, this this maybe a model is saying, okay, I want texture ten, but in the texture package, there's no ten because I only I only put in two textures. So the game crashes. All right, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I remember there was a reason why I did that. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me just. Let me just go back here. <laughs> what we have to do to kind of resolve this issue is you have to go back here, clear your current texture library. You have to import the original TPL. Uh, shoot, got to be named TPL. TPL. All right, the original TPL, and it'll import the original library listing. Okay, so now when you export, it gets added on to the script. Okay, so I'm going to re-export this thing. Place, yes. Ah, oh, shoot. Fix that export selection. Yes. Okay, right complete. Um, again, now if you go to the listener. Not the listener. Uh, yeah, listener. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so now we got this new script, and it's really huge. Because it's using the old TPL. All right. So now what we have to do is put this here. All right, I, I knew this was the thing. I, I think I forgot. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna see if I can go back on the thing here. Damn, can't. All right. Alright, so now we got new TPL. Alright, so, uh, wait, did I replace the bin already? Uh, last modified, 9, yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna repack that sucker. Pack up. Build file. Yes. Alright, I didn't talk about this, but um, 
you can actually paste your commands into a bat script and you can just run them from that so you don't have to keep booting up the prompt thing but I didn't want to get into that but anyway so yeah I just clicked on that got new ISO I'm gonna pop this thing in there again pop it up there you go Alright, so now that we got the texture crap kind of fixed out, uh, it should work good. Um, there's some obvious issues there with the skin weight because I just pasted it on and actually review it. So we can probably fix it up in 3ds Max. But anyway, so yeah, the model's in there, textures are there, and the whole shebang. Yeah. And we just get to a better view. And there you go. You got um, Claire from Resident Evil in this game. Or whatever. Whatever. Okay. Alright, so now the problem that I'm experiencing, okay, you can actually see it, see an example of this right now. If you look at the hands right there, really closely, um, the original hands from the model are there, plus the new hands from Claire. Jill's old hands have a little problem there you can see the textures on the fingers are black okay that's what I've just started to notice okay when I did my initial test I did it with uh, Ada from uh, Rizzo 4 and it worked out fine alright I did a second mod test and it wasn't fine like, the model looked all checkered and stuff and I'm like I had no idea so I just did this clear model and it worked out luckily I like at a pure luck worked out okay but you can notice on the original model hand there that's still there it's messed up it's really messed up the textures are everywhere okay that has nothing to do with the UV information cuz cuz I didn't touch the model like the bin model for the hands I didn't touch at all and I don't understand that I didn't touch it and now it's all messed up so um, tonight or yeah, today I released the script. I'm, I'm basically saying you guys, okay, here it is. You guys do the rest. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what the heck's causing this bug. If you guys can fix it and like let me know, I can maybe work out a solution to it. But um, yeah, this is as far as I go. Um, I achieved my goal. The challenge was to get to get new models in one check. Okay, and as a bonus, I was able to get textures working check. Okay, I don't know why there's other problems, but it seems to be kind of hit and miss.